Hello friends, my name is Bharat Juneja and in this session we will see the concept of bot config file. So let's get started. So for this you should have knowledge of JSON and if you don't have knowledge of JSON you can check out our video on JSON. Now what is bot config file? I will give the answer of this question later. But first we will see what is why do we use bot config file in a blue prism process we use multiple environment variables credentials environment logs work queues encryption schemes and lot of other data and blue prism provides a system or a feature to save all these data in bot config file we can also save all this data at one place and it will decrease the amount of storage used in the database means we have environment we store environment variables credentials environment logs etc in the blue prism database so if we start using bot config file it will decrease the size of the database if you want to update the environment variables or credentials etc so you need access of the blue prism you need the knowledge of the blue prism then you will be able to modify the environment variable or credentials or another type of data in the case of bot config file you don't need any access of blue prism or any knowledge and this file is easily maintainable we can easily maintain this file we can easily read or write data from this file when we try to fetch a value of environment variable we have to create a data item and then it will establish a connection with database and fetch the value of that environment variable and disconnect bot config file will reduce the number of data item in blue prism no need to create the data items because we will use the bot config file we will save all the data in the config file so no need to create the data item no need to hard code any value in the process for example no need to hard code the credential tag name you can just mention this in the bot config file and also this file is easy to read and if we have hundreds of processes then there can be thousands of environment variable or credentials so it is quite difficult to scroll down the list of the environment variable and find the environment variable which we want to edit but in our config file we can easily create we can easily find that environment variable or the credential now let's create a bot config file we need a blank notepad file and with the help of json we will create a bot config file first we will create a json object and in this we will we can categorize our data in different categories like uh, environment variable credentials environment log process details resource details etc i'm creating a i'm creating a array of environment variable so here i will type environment where and here I will use scale bracket for array. In this array, I will create environment variables here. Means we can give the name of the variable and the value of the variable. Let's say the application URL or the path of the application or the path of any folder, file. So we can create our all the environment variable here. If you are aware of json then you will be understand this easily now let's save this file you can give any extension like .txt or .json and now go to the blue prism and take a action stage and select the file management business object select read all text from the text file and input the name of path of the file and in output we will get the text of the file so yeah here we are able to read the file now let's take one more action because this data is in json and we will traverse this json into collection so that we can easily understand the data and use this data this bot will read the json from the text file and then convert that json into 
collection. So let's run the process and we can see the results. We got a nested collection environment variable and in this we can see two columns one is for url and another, another one is for path now let's say if we want to use this url in, in any other action or in any stage so we can use it like this just type result dot environment variable dot app url let me save this in a data item let's run the process we got the url in this url data item so we can use it like this date result dot environment variable dot app url similarly we can use another variable no need to create a separate data item also we can add more categories in our bot config file see like this for credentials for process detail resource details etc and if I want to use the credential tag or from the I want a credentials, I want username and password from the credential manager. So I have to pass the credential tag name. Generally, we hard code this credential tag name, but with the help of bot config file, we can store the name of the credentials and we can fetch the credential and we can directly pass the value. So I have this credential basic authentication so i will set the value here now i will pass this value so in this we can input the variable name so for accessing the credential name from the bot config file we have to write result which is our main collection and dot this credential because this is also a collection inside the result collection and then the name of the field which is app xy credential tag name so you can give small name or a simple name and just copy the names from the board config file and paste it in the blue prism stages now let me run the process and here we got the credentials it means username and password so this is how we can stop hard coding and we can write the data in the board config file instead of writing this in the stages we can create the arrays in this json like this this is for environment variable similarly we can create for credentials for process details just copy this in process details we can assign process name queue name environment log name stop time start time stop time start time will also useful means if you want to run a session and you want to stop it at a particular time then you will run a session and modify the stop time in the board config file and similarly for the next session similarly we, you will run the another session of same process before after editing the time in the board config file because as soon as board run it will read the config file so you can change the data in the config file and for another session this will read the modified value detail we can add the details of resource like this resource name resource pool name now for credential tag example we created three objects or three arrays in the json file so let me show you the collection result collection and we can see the three collection inside this means three arrays environment variable credential and process name so it becomes easier to access the particular element if we divide them into different categories so you can easily fetch that element like name of the main collection then dot the name of the category like environment variable and then the name of the element so this is how we can create the config file i hope you understand that what is port config file so bot config file is just simple up notepad file which includes the configuration details or the data data or details related to the bot so it will make your life easier you can easily manage this and modify this file no need to depend upon blue prism or its feature you can easily create your own file 
वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज अ एन एक्सेल फाइल और अ सिंपल नोटपेड फाइल एंड राइट द डेटा इन ह्यूमन रीडेबल फॉर्मेट विदाउट यूजिंग जेसन सो इट विल बिकम बिट डिफिकल्ट और बिट टाइम कंज्यूमिंग टू रीड द डेटा एंड देन गेट इन टू टू यूज कोलेक्शन और मल्टीपल कोलेक्शन टू रीड ऑल द डेटा सो आई लाइक दिस अप्रोच ऑफ जेसन सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस यू कैन share your approaches as well i mean if you have any idea related to this please feel free to add your comments on this thanks for watching guys